Good day everyone! Today we will be discussing about definition and logarithmic distribution. This definition talks about the distribution with discrete density function f of x with parameter p is equal to q to the x all over negative x log p to the base e and 0 for x is equal to 1 to 2 to infinity otherwise is equal to the q to the x all over negative x log p to the base e with indicator of x 1 to 2 to infinity. So this where the parameter satisfy 0 less than p less than 1 and q is equal to 1 minus p is defined as the logarithmic distribution. The name is justified if one recalls the power series expansion of log 1 minus q to the base e or the geometric series expansion. The logarithmic distribution has mean and variance. Now we have the value of mean q all over negative p log p to the base e and variance is equal to q times q plus log p to the base e all over negative p log p to the base e quantity squared. It can be derived as a limiting distribution of negative binomial distributions that have been generalized to include r, any positive number or rather than just an integer, truncated at zero. Then the limiting distribution is obtained by letting r approach zero. Our main aim here is to show on how we derive the value of mean. So from the given definition, we have f of x is equal to q to the x all over negative x log p to the base e with indicator of x 1 to 2 to infinity. Our formula here in our mean is e of x is equal to the summation of x times f of x is equal to summation of x times q to the x all over negative x log p to the base e. Since our value of f x is q to the x all over negative x log p to the base e. And now, from recalling from our the power series expansion, we have q to the x is equal to q to the power of x minus 1 is times q. Now we have summation of x times q to the x minus 1 times q all over negative x log p to the base e. From this given equation, our constant here is q all over negative log p to the base e. Then we must extract our constant from the summation form. So we have q all over negative log p to the base e summation of x times q x minus 1 all over x as x approaches to 1 to n. Next step is q all over negative log p to the base e summation of q to the power of x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 to n. Now, we have here from the given definition that q is equal to 1 minus p. Since our, from this given equation, we have q to the power x minus 1. So, let us now sub substitute the value of our q. So, we have q all over negative log p to the base e, summation of 1 minus p to the power of x minus 1. So, here our 1 minus p is the, val is the value of our q. Next step is, Q all over negative log p to the base e, the summation of 1 minus p to the x times 1 minus p to the 1. By law of exponent, we can write this form. So recalling the law exponent. The next step is Q all over negative log p to the base e, summation of, since our, we have here the value of negative 1, which is negative exponent, so in order for us to have a positive value of negative 1p, so we let this value to be in the denominator. So we have 1 minus p to the x all over 1 minus p. So we have here q all over negative log p to the base e. And we now extract our constant from the summation form. Since our constant here is 1 over 1 minus p, 
then we can get this form. Then the remaining value here is 1 minus p to the x. And now, the next step is we just copy here the q all over negative log p to the base e times 1 over 1 minus p summation of q to the x as x approaches to 1 to n. Since our value of q is 1 minus p, Now we have q all over negative log p to the base e minus p log p to the base e sum summation of q to the x as x approaches to 1 to n. By recalling the geometric series, we have here 1 is equal to q to the 0. q plus q squared plus q cubed plus dot 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 plus q to the n is equal to q times 1 plus q plus q squared plus dot 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 plus q n minus 1 is equal to q summation of q to the x equal to 1 as x approaches to 0 to n minus 1. So we now get y that we have the q to the x is equal to 1. So from this given geometric series expansion, we have here the equation of q all over negative p leg p to the base e times 1 and by the summation of q to the x equal to 1 by this geometric series expansion. Now, why does log p to the base e does not exist here in this equation? Because the equivalent of log p to the base e is equal to zero. Hence, our value now of our mean is equal to q all over negative p log p to the base e. So that's how we derive the value of our mean. So next is our variance, the same process of how we show our mean and how we derive the value of our mean. So the same process and how we will do it in our variance. So we have the formula of our variance, summation of x minus mu quantity squared times f of x to the base x as x approaches 0 to, in, to n is equal to summation of x minus q all over negative p log p quantity squared times q to the x all over x log p to the base e. Since our value of our mu is the value of our mean, which is q all over negative p log p to the base e. And the value of our f of x as the base x is equal to q to the x all over negative x log p from the given definition. So the next process is we have the summation of, we, we get this equation by just expanding this equation. So x minus q all over negative p log p to the base e quantity squared. So this is the value. This is the output of the value by expanding those, this equation. x squared minus 2xq all over p log p to the base e plus q all over negative p log p to the base e quantity squared times our value of f of x to the base x, q to the x all over x log p to the base e. Next process is summation of by, so with this we get the value of this equation by simplifying the equation above. So we get the x squared times negative p log p to the base a quantity squared minus 2xq times p log p to the base a plus q squared all over negative p log p to the base a quantity squared since we can get the, this value because this is the value in our denominator which is common. Now we now get the value of our variance which is equal to q times q plus log p to the base e all over negative p log p to the base e quantity squared. This is how we prove our value of our variance. And that would be all for today. Thank you and God bless. This is Reggie Marie.